I want to be a facilitator of greatness. There's uh, so many great guys out there on that track that are not going to get to be Olympians this time around. And they're going to run out of time. I want to get too old to do this here in the future. The passing of the guard will happen again here in the future. I don't want that to be the end of our glory. Nobody's going to start listening to me as long as I don't have a medal on my neck. That sucks. Success becomes a sage. You start listening to people who have more and more of these. I got a rack full of them, I'll tell you that. My opinion doesn't mean any, any more than any of those great men that were on the track. They walked the same road with me, but all of a sudden they don't get the, they don't get the bid in the cameras. I love them all the same. Well, so I want to talk about the competition now. 592 championship record. Right. You, know, you do win the competitor within you. You must still enjoy that. Yes, absolutely. You know, and that's what I love talking about because that's the real story. How awesome is it for a bunch of guys to get out there and just go toe to toe? I don't. I can't tell you that there wasn't a better situation. I didn't talk. Is she with the Washington Post? She misquoted me last time. You are. All right, we're gonna talk here in a minute. And I'm not mad. Okay. Okay. The uh, um, 592 is a great place to, 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 to stake yourself in the competition world right now. Thibaut Collet just jumped 595 in France. I get to jump 592 seasons best. Get to drag Chris Nelson with me to two seasons best just to make this squad. He and I work so well together, and that's what this breeds us. Every guy out there on the track, once they bowed out, they sat there and said, Sam, go for it. Sam, go for it. Sam, go for it. And that's what I've been trying to breed for 10 years. If it ain't my spot, it's yours, and I'm going to be proud of you for it. That's what the Olympic trials is to me. Absolutely. It's a, you're at the apex now. This is like the best that men's pole vaulting has ever been, obviously, with Mondo and the rest of the competition you've mentioned it is a the, few now. This was officially the hardest team to make in the history of American pole vault in track and field. 587. Had to jump under pressure the trials record to submit my spot. That's not supposed to be the way it is. I won it by a foot in 2016, but, man, we have raised the tide of this sport. I am so proud of it. I'm so sorry. I think I have to start doing Yes, sir. Oh, so you want, are you excited to go? Are you not excited to go? Or how do you characterize your emotions? Or can you compartmentalize that? Does it matter? It kind of does. Why? I mean, it's my job to go win a medal. What's exciting about that? No. Winning a medal. It's not how I feel about it. A lot of times, I can be contrite. A lot of people know me to be very contrite. I'm, I love this sport. I love competing. When I go through all the, I've been to Paris, I'm gonna to go to Paris here in two weeks for the Diamond League final, hopefully jump and start to France on the track and warm up for it. I love doing that. The, this, I love putting on Team USA. I've always loved that. I joined the freaking army, right? Because I love this country. I'm super excited about all that. Now I don't wanna give away to all the excitement like some giddy ant, but sometimes you just gotta be like, man, I'm proud, it's awesome. My baby was in the stands up there. I got to hug him right after I jumped. What's more happy, happiness providing than that? I think it's super special. Are you definitely going to uh, compete in Paris? Yes, I will. Yeah, I'll be in Paris.